an old man water to drink. Hey! So, if I give you this my precious water, eh? You will drink of it. Because of my daughter. Shut up, you stupid old man. Who is your daughter? Who? Would you leave this foolish old man? Instead of walking to your grave, you're here, obstructing the stream path. Go. Go to your grave. Hola. Hola, let's go. Can't you see this man in it? Hey. Must you help him? Must you help him when neither of us helped him? You don't even know if he's a wizard. Only one pata like you will render such useless help. Let's go. Sorry, oh, sorry. Do you have a cup? No, no, my daughter. No. So how am I going to help you? Please. Mm. Okay, don't worry, you drink from my pocket, oh? Drink, yeah. Bucket. But won't it? You said you're thirsty and you need to drink water, right? Um, and I'm offering you water, so don't worry, just drink from me. Oh? Drink. 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 Are you okay now? Thank you, Mom. Uh, hmm? You will grow old. Uh, 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 thank you, Mom. Thank you. Invited me. Chineke. <laughs> God. Did you invite an outcast to your house? I only wanted her to join us, prepare for the maiden dance. Hey! <laughs> she know this girl. She's going mad. Exactly. So you don't know that she cannot partake in the dance at all. Talk less of wiggling her waist for the praise you see and choose as a queen. You surprise me, Amaka. One day, you will invite the millipede into your own house too. It was pity that made me do it. Pity? My father is dead too and I feel her pains. Your father is dead, but you're not an outcast like her. Eh? It is better to be fatherless than to be an outcast. A one factor. Olama, get out of here. Just go and leave us alone. Why do you always despise me? Hey, why are you always where you're not wanted? Why? I'll talk to them. Uh -uh, Andrea. Go and leave us alone. How are you back. girls? Maria is not fair. It's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fair. So, you. You are out of the game. Now. Hey, get it go. Mama, 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 what is that? 
tell you what. Why am I so cursed? Why am I Mwakbata? What is the meaning of Mwakbata? Mama, you have to tell me today. I need answers. I can't go on anymore. I, I can't cope with this. I have been scorned all my life. We are not originally from Afa. So where are we from? And why shouldn't we go back there? We are from Omoka, a town not of Afa. People known for their hunting skills. They had the secret of catching wild animals. They dug trenches and covered them with leaves and grasses. Unsuspecting animals fell into them and got trapped. So, one day, a cow that belonged to a pata deity in Afa lost its way and fell into the Omoka trap. Knowing fully well it was not a wild animal, they gave deaf ears, slaughtered and ate the meat instead of looking for the owner. So what happened? Few months later, the rot of Apata fell on the people of Umoka. People died in their numbers. Mm. Men, women, even children. The oracle demanded for a virgin in replacement of the slain cow. And we are the descendants of that virgin. That's why we are called Omoabata Usu. A virgin for a slain cow? <sighs> she was never married. She was seen as a taboo. And the men, being men, did beseech her at night. And she ended up the mother of many children. And her children also, the mothers and fathers of many, we are her descendants. Was that how Arinze and I were born? Oh, I, I see. I see. We are not good for marriage, but good for abuse to bring forth unfortunate children to share the same fate. So, by the soul of that virgin, I was brought into this town as an unwilling ransom. And by the sufferings, that women like you have been through in this town. That no one, I mean, not anyone, any man, ever seen my nakedness. Olama, I shall keep it until the day. Make such vows, it could be dangerous. The real danger lies in giving birth to a child. Having her go through the kind of humiliation that I go through this minute. Hola. Life is a great experience. Whatever happens, we have a lot to live. Eh? Hola, ma. Hola, ma. Hey! Good. Good. Hey! 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 H
Your Highness. Excuse us. Yes, Your Highness. Okay, sir. I have fixed the leading dance for the next three market weeks. Father, I already told you I'm not interested in that kind of stuff to beat my queen. I have to you, Piazza. I did not send you to London to imbibe the white man's culture hook, line and sinker. I know, Father. And that's why I did not return with the white lady I fell in love with. That would have been an abomination, a taboo. Father, Julia gave me more love more than any black African deserved. Now, if there was anyone committing an abomination or a taboo, it was her. Enough of that nonsense. I married your mother through the maiden dance. Well, times change, Father. Yes, times do change. But not in the traditions of Afanasa and not in the palace of Igwe Dike Ikenga, the unbottled Lady Jambo of Afanasa. You are going to take a wife according to our own traditions and customs. for the dance, like every other maiden in this. We don't belong with them, eh? The ghosts will visit us with rot if you go. I know, I... I just wish I could go. Don't think about it. It hurts more when you do. Please come back into the house, oh? So that you will not hear the sounds of the drum so much. No! I wish to be here. Let me suffer here. Let the gods see me suffer. And in seeing me suffer, let them rebuke themselves for creating an innocent lineage and calling them Wangwata. I wish to be a thorn in the flesh of the gods.
Father, what have we done? I mean, what have we done? I stand in front of this house every day, and in front of the statue of the Virgin Mother Mary, which my mother put there as a symbol of her Christian belief before she died, and yet you still uphold this barbaric culture? I mean, forcing me to choose a wife from a dance and not love? Son, we have to walk the tightrope of living in the modern world. And mentally our cultures. You give to God, God, and see to Caesar, Caesar. It is my responsibility as a traditional monarch to maintain the roots of our tradition, our cultures handed over to us from generations past. The girl will be good for you. She'll make you happy. No, father, still I'm not happy. I mean, the, the one I found for myself, she didn't come to the dance. The one you found for yourself? Found for yourself where? Father, some things are still better left unsaid, even between father and son. <laughs> well, if she was not at the dance, then she is not a virgin. Look, I am married. Your mother, Lolo, as a virgin. My father married my mother as a virgin. You have a virgin waiting for you out there. Why brood over nothing? Oh, I... I guess I'll just make do with what's available then. Exactly. Exactly. Look, son. and enjoy the delicious meal very carefully prepared for you by your very thoughtful ancestors. Yeah. How benevolent could one's ancestors be? First of all, she is not my friend. Secondly, she is no virgin either. Uh -uh. 
How are you certain she's no virgin? No, no. She used to be my friend. Yeah. Oh. How do you find your new home? It's beautiful, my lord. It's like heaven. It's wonderful. I love everything. Well, this used to be my mother's private chamber. And you have been favored to inherit it. Thank you, my lord. Moria. Yes, my lord. I must tell you that though I picked you, it was because a choice must be made. It was never my stuff to grab a wife just like picking an orange from a store. I had viewed marriage from a simple viewpoint. Which is, my lord. Which means that I prefer we take some time to study each other properly. No need to rush in things. I will not be touching you for now. I prefer you take some time to fit into your new environment first. Anything you say, my lord. Very well then. Um, another thing. I was told that all the girls who performed at the dance are all virgins. Now how true is that assertion? Very true, my lord. Don't be surprised. That is the proper treatment a queen deserves. Enjoy your meal. We'll continue our talk later. It's so beautiful out here. Yes, it is meant for the royal class of which you're now part of. So tell me, um, how do you see the sky? It's beautiful. Much more attractive, my lord. Attractive? You believe my prince and my lady. Now you see, um... So, um, see, being in this palace, you have to learn certain etiquettes. My late grandfather, the past Igwe, was a very principled man. 
And from generation to generation, a certain rule has been very... Your Highness, your father needs in the palace immediately. If you'll excuse me. Of course, my lord. Stand by my lady. Yes, your highness. What is it? What is what? What are you staring at like that? And how did you know that I stared at you? Where were you staring at me? No, oh, don't be stupid, Akaba. I warn you, stay away from my marriage. I warn you. I warn you, stay away from my marriage. I warn you. Things are unpredictable. Maybe yes, and maybe no. But I sent her a message through a palace servant to meet us here. So maybe let's wait. Or could she be facing difficulties? Difficulty, my foot. The palace servants have been sending countless goods to her parents as tribute. Look who is coming. Wow, look at her steps. Don't they remind one of Muria? It's not possible she could come out alone without the palace servants following. I missed you too. I told you people, it's our steps. I get their wing. Nagifo! Nagifo! No! Let's not shout. Please. Let's not shout so you don't give me away. I actually split out of the palace. We mm -hmm. must go somewhere else. This way, we need to talk. I intend to change those old fashioned queen protocols. I'm putting in Really? Hey! Alas! <laughs> but, <laughs> before you rejoice too much, I have a problem. Agaba, is he bothering you? What has he done? If Agaba is the problem, get your husband to sack him immediately. Agaba's case isn't all. My husband, the prince, actually believes I am still a virgin. That means he has not slept with you yet. Yes. He insists that he wants us to get to love each other naturally first. The prince is a wonderful man. And I wouldn't want to lose him. But every day I fear that he might want to have me and subsequently discover that I am not a virgin. My friends. My friend. What can you think of? to help me out of this situation. Please. This is no easy, Maria. I have an idea. What is that? Yes. Relax. Relax. We shall be killing two birds with one stone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen. When you get home, take Agaba to a lonely place. Eh? Let him think you want to talk things over with him then tear your dress and shout for help hmm. cry seriously and make everyone believe that he raped you 
Hmm. Oh, Jew, eh? that is not right. You're just trying to frame the poor man up. Ah, it's not fair. Hmm. That's exactly the solution. Or do you have another? Hmm. Hmm? I don't care if she has another. I like this one. Good. Then Igwe will then punish Agaba for defiling the land. And then the prince will have you and think he lost your virginity to a rapist. <laughs> exactly, my dear. You girls, put me out of this. Mm. I'm not part of you. Please. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. My friends, mm -hmm. Uju, yes. Ijoma, mm. what is it? What would I have done without you? Nothing. You know, this is the reason why I want both of you in the palace with me. Yes. Hmm. And as for you, I shall have my eyes on you. Hmm. Let me. Thank you. I'll always be watching out Thank for you. you. Thank you. Bye bye. Hey, <laughs> what? The money is my own, no? Not for this. Share which money? I thought you wanted to. Be. I'm not giving anybody the money if we should go. I'm staying here. Go. It's my money. Hey, young lady. Young lady. Stop. Who, me? You have to see there's no other person here. I realize your name is Ola. Yes, uh, I am a Lama. Thanks for knowing my name. Wait. I've not finished with you yet. And what is remaining? Don't sound like that, my dear. You're such a beautiful young girl that any able bodied young man will keep on recollecting at any side of you. Thanks for the compliment. Is there anything else? It's unfortunate you're from the doomed family. Hola there. A beautiful girl like you is not supposed to be in such an ugly situation. Just listen to me and I will change your fates. Have you finished? There's no other thing left for me to say. Just think about it. Thank you. Hola. Hola! Yo! Are you walking out on me? Asafa! The chief guard of the palace. Idiots. You're not an inch. I said you're not an inch! Bigger than every other girl I've come across in this village. We shall see if I don't end up having you. Yes, you did, Mary. I'm sorry I'll pay for it. Now close your eyes. Why, my lord? Am I better off blind? I have a surprise for you. Okay. You're close. What is it like? Just be patient. Thank 
Thank you, Mama. You don't have to thank me. You're my wife. If I don't do for you, whom shall I do it for? Tonight is the night we will Tonight I shall take what's right for you belongs to me. Slowly and smoothly I shall have your virginity. Obviously, been at it more than once. No, no, my lord. No, I must have done more than I Enough! First day tomorrow morning, you shall pack all your belongings and send me to the palace. It shall be assumed that cheats like you are not here. No, my lord. I beg you, my lord. Don't! Father, I bring you news of Oria. Oria, your wife? News? I'm listening. Father, she's no longer my wife, for I have sent her packing back to the filthy environment from where she came. What? How could you take such a decision without first telling me? Father, the position of the queenship of this great dynasty cannot be left in the hands of an adulterous woman. That? She was supposed to be a virgin, remember? Yes. She took part in the dance of the virgins. There's a big difference, father, between taking part in the dance for virgins and actually being a true virgin. Mm -hmm. For the first time last night, I went into her. And I noticed everything in there was nothing but loose and filthy. What? Yes, father. 
You know I never supported getting a wife in such an arrangement, but I had to do so because it was your own idea. Oh dear. An adulterous, filthy serpent? A deceiver of the worst kind? How could she do that to a prince of the kingdom? This is unbelievable. This is unimaginable. That girl is not fit to be married by anybody within the clans of Afanasa. That is also a tradition. She should go and live far away in those lands where they treat women as scum and serpents. One of which she, she is. No. It is unfair for her to do this. I shall so decree that she never gets married by any man in this kingdom. That would be a good punishment at least. Is that how to sweep? Hey! Come and sweep this place. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, Mama Mia, I'm tired though. I'm not a girl. Hey! <sighs> Mama. And, um, I believe the other girl should have left the stream by now. <sighs> you know how they treat me. <laughs> I just wish I could keep avoiding them. Don't worry. I won't be long, oh? Please don't be. Hmm? Because we're heading for the farm on your return. And keep avoiding those girls. Please. Bye bye, eh? Be fast. Arinze. See your back now.
Mama, are you not going to fetch firewood? Not yet. I don't want to run into Nuria and her friends. So when do you want to go? At night? We still have time before night falls. <laughs> okay. Let me ask you. Are you going to run away from this village because of them? Hmm? You can't continue like this now. Early? Well, if I don't go now. Um, well, I think you've got company now. What? Yes, I'll, I'll escort you to the farm. Why? You don't even know me. Listen, I know you. You're the one who doesn't know me. So, who are you? Well, I'm, I'm someone who wants to escort you to the farm. Yeah. So, bad, you want to escort me? I could do this with you every day. Who is this? Hola! Mama? Jeremy! My prince! Hey, what? Hola, ma! What is it? Please, please, please. Don't please, leave my please, prince. Please, 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 please stop. Don't panic. Don't please, me. please. Stop it. Stop it. My prince! What is this now, Mama? What are you doing? Farming in the farm of Mwapata. Look, stop this, please. Are you still standing? Do you recognize him again? The prince, the only head to the throne of Alpha. Hey! Hey! Please, 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 please stand up. Please, leave us alone. Eh? Hey! Why did you bring him here? Mama, Mama, it's not my fault now. I did not know he was the one. I've never seen him before. Have that faithful day by the stream. Stream? Yes, the old man you gave water by the stream. Are you okay now? Thank you, mom. Yes, that was me in disguise looking for my queen. But when you didn't come to the maiden dance, I became frustrated. So I ask you now, why didn't you show up? I couldn't come. She was ill, Valeria. Talk of fate. I mean, a thing as simple as malaria almost denying a prince his worthy queen. Listen, I had to pretend you know, since it was very evident you didn't recognize me as the Prince of Afanasa, so I wanted to know you more. But your mother's sudden appearance has halted all my pretenses. Well, I'll say she's late, because I've seen enough to make me know that I did not make a mistake the first day. You've never made a bigger mistake, oh. Prepare yourself. Go home. Come meet me under the Udala tree. I shall be waiting to take you to my father. Have a nice day. 
Why did you lie to him? It's me. me, I'm not going anywhere. Oh. Are you starting off that? Mama. It is obvious he does not know who we are. The minute he realizes what we are, he will wash off his hands and his legs and take to his heels. What is it now, Mama? My daughter has won the princess's heart and would have become the queen of Alpha. But look, look at the wicked tradition. Did I not tell you that I was going to die a virgin? Live long, my king. So will you after me, my son. Father, I found her. Really? Where? In this afar, father. Oh. Then where is she? Well, I waited for her all afternoon yesterday, but she never showed up. You mean she had the guts to keep you waiting? The, who is this vagabond? Tell me the name of the family and I'll send guards to go and confiscate all their property immediately. You know, father. Did she not know you are the prince of Afa? She knew, but um, she kept away for good reasons, I presume. What, what good reasons? What good reasons? Nobody. Nobody has the right to keep my son waiting. Let alone a girl who has to stoop down to your head. Now, come on, we'll go. It's time for action. Guards! Prepare for action. Yes. Yes, yes Your Highness. Say, and I say no, Father. What be it, You are the Prince of Hafa. But I am the king. And when I say action, then action it is. Come on. Father, aren't we talking about my wife here? You know, the queen to be. That is the more reason why we take... Father, don't you think any woman who should be the queen of her father, sir, should have a mind of her own? Ooh. Father, I found myself a woman of substance. A woman of character. A woman who has enough will to call the bluff of a prince who tried to intimidate her. Give her some guts. Her personality, father. She perfectly understands her quality. And that's why she wouldn't sell her dignity that cheap. Allow me woo her, father. She deserves nothing less. I have no more good to offer to the palace. Well, I'm here for something far bigger than a goat. I knew you were a woman of character, but I never believed you could stand the Prince of Afar Nassar up. Your Highness, I'm not sure. Get up. There's no need for that. May you live long, Your Highness. Get up. I have come to my queen since she has been avoiding me. Your Highness, this can't be the girl you're talking about. And why not? Does anyone in this village compare to her beauty? But, but she is a... Seal your lips on this matter, Akaba. Yes, Your Highness. Off you go to the palace. Yes, Your Highness.
Well, I'm here today. So it's either you go in, prepare yourself, so I can take you to the palace. Else I wait here till the sun rises for yet another day. Can someone get me a seat? Olama, I am waiting. the girl who shunned the prince? Father, please. That was some risk you took, young lady. But my son insists you are the one he wants. Expressly so, Father. I will go ahead and give my blessing. Do I? Of course, Father. There is no one else but her. May the spirits of our ancestors. The gods who oversee the Ikenga of Afanasa. Purify you. For the challenges towards the throne. As the queen of this great land. You see. You see. Into the palace? How could you? No, 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 no,
non, 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 non. Take it easy. Don't, don't lose your temper like that. Please. You are also answer me. Yes, sir. I am. I am. Who brought you here? What are you doing in my palace, sir? It's your son. I told him to leave me alone, but he practically forced me to this place. If I open my eyes, I still see you here. I shall make a sacrifice of you to the gods. So, leave. Uh, father! Now! It's my wife you're chasing away, you know. That's my wife! to be disgraced. Eh? Didn't you hear what your father said? Huh? Didn't you look in his eyes when he said those things he said to me that he was going to offer me as a sacrifice to the gods? He meant every word of it. Or llama over my dead body. Listen, leave me alone, okay? I have to go home to my mother. Not in the state, Olama. I'm going home. I, I won't let you. Olama. Oh. What, what, what do you want from me? What kind of sin are you creating here? Do you know what people will say to about me when they see us like this? I don't care. I care! Listen, just leave me alone, alright? Just let me go. Olama. For what? Look into my eyes, please. Do you remember these eyes? The very day you gave me water at the stream path. That was the day you became the queen of Afanasa. And nobody, not even my father, nor the gods can take that away from you. Look, Obieze, I am, I am just so afraid. I... Oh, just come with me. To where? Without love, life is disrupted physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Do you also know that Mark Pata knows no love, but some faceless men who creep into their heart at night to abuse them into progression? Believe me, the story of Mark Pata and the sacrificed virgin will be rewritten with both of us holding the pen. Hmm. Do not underestimate the power of love at first sight. Many of us might not get a second inspection and you perfectly fit that bill. I don't know what to say. Then listen some more. See, love is like a fabric that never fades, no matter how often it's washed in the waters of grief and adversity. Here. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Is it a love that you went to Obodo you go to study? See, love is a universal subject. No matter your choice of course in life, you must encounter it. Let's just go home. There are too many sunflies here and they are biting me. Just 
show me where it finds you. Okay. Yeah, don't want trouble. And what if your father sends people to my house who can carry my mother, my my brother, my uncle? Listen, you will not do that. I saw those eyes. He meant what he said, and he, I know he won't stop at anything. Then take me home. That way, no harm will come to me. Where's our... How long do you think he will still live? You obey him in this matter and be disgraced when I'm king or you serve yourself for tomorrow. Boys, let's go. I told you. It's okay. What did I do? Thank you, Your Highness. I'll be back. Look, son. I did not send you to London to imbibe the whole of the white man's culture. This is Africa. You will incur the wrath of the gods. I have chosen Olamba. There's something in her that ties both our lives together. Ah! It is forbidden. She is not suitable. She's an Osu, an outcast. This is Africa. With due respect, Father, she's the only one in this filthy town worth the candle. I have made my choice. Enough of this nonsense, or else I'll have to disinherit you. And you think I care? You don't care. Huh. And be very careful, Father. Else I move out of this palace to never return. I might have lost the prince. I can live with that. But how do I live with the fact that I lost him to that, that Umwapata, an outcast? It will never happen. Oh, dear men, men. It is happening already. Uju, hmm? it is happening already. Hmm? My prince insists that it is either the outcast or nobody. Oh. My uncle told me that. Oh. This is serious, Umwapata. And what is serious about this? Is the prince the only man in this world? Why not find yourself another man and stop disturbing us about this? Prince, 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 prince. Hey, he's. <laughs> hey. Maka, please. Be cool. Don't irritate me. Are you deaf? Or are you blind? Don't you know my punishment? That I cannot marry any other man from these parts? So, what do you plan to do now? It's your man. Uju. Eh? Aren't you my friends? We are. That is why I have called you to help me figure it out. Mm. My son. I can see you're truly in love with her. Well, since it's now beginning to look like a matter of life and death, you may go on. Yes, go on. Feel her body. Enjoy it to your satisfaction. Feel and enjoy her? Yes, of course. But do not go any further than that. Meaning? Meaning that if you insist on actually marrying her, then the kingdom will leave this land 
and go back to Amozala from where it came centuries ago. So the royal seats did not originally belong to our clan? No. Someone there at Amozala committed a sacrilege and the kingship came to us here. Now, if you bring in an outcast as a wife, the kingdom after my reign will go back to Amozala. Because you cannot rule as king with an outcast as a wife. Whatever you want, I will give it to you. Only do this for me. Defile that outcast. Since the prince rejected me because I am not a virgin. Thanks to you, he must never meet her a virgin. And what if he has already eaten from her pot of orasup that is in between her legs? I know the prince. He always takes his time. How can I ever thank you? What do you want? Name it. You know what I want. Let's not waste time.
want to have my queen? No, you, you, you want to have my queen? Huh? You are about to defile my queen? No. You, you are coming to tell us you bring her. You want, you want to defile no. my queen? No. You don't know, sir. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. What? Why don't you see what you wanted from your highness's wife? Idiots! Your highness. How could I ever dream of such wickedness? You know I can do it. Simple assignment, you can do it. I've made the bed. For who? For us. Come on. Come on. Huh? Maria, you know I have tried. I have tried three good times, but the prince usually springs up from nowhere. Honestly, Maria, I don't know what brings him to the spot always. I don't know. Something needs to be done. And fast. Okay, okay. I will do something, but before that, just... I will get out of my sight. But until you perform my duties. Yeah. You have never been in this palace before in your life, have you? No, no, your highness. Good. I have brought you into March where you never dreamt of being before in your life. Just to make one message clear. This fire which you made through your ambitious Nice. to burn will burn so terribly so terribly that your entire household will be wiped out from the surface of Afanasa. Please, your highness. Please. I did not Please. ask you to open your mouth. Now, you may go. You must go back to the palace, please. And I ask why? Your oh, father, your father, please, leave us in peace, please. Please, my prince. Leave my father to me. My prince, please. By this act, you seek our death, please. A man must die. But death is sweeter when a man dies for that which he believes in. Ebenike, do you believe in freedom? My people, this is actually an emergency. The people of Amaegede are our brothers. Yes. I therefore think that we should arrange to assist their king in giving his queen, his cherished queen, a befitting burial. Igwe, you have spoken very well. They are actually our brothers. And they are support, we shall assist them. This is the opportunity we are looking for to get in that question. Yes. Um, Your Highness, there is something very important that we want to suggest. Please go on. This is an opportunity for you to retain your dynasty and not use it to Amozala. Oh. Your Highness, we need to look into this fine sweet of that man so that we'll be there. Did you threaten Olamazon could over my genuine affair with his niece? 
Yes, my son. Has it come to the point where you won't even greet your father, the Igwe? It has come to everything, father. Since all you want is your heir to act your slave. Did you get that idea? Sit down. Sit. Obiese. No one takes on a battle he is certain to lose. Trust me, father. I will win this battle. Oh, you've already won. You have won. Since I see that there is so much passion you have for this girl, and I've therefore given my consent for you to have her. As my wife? Yes, as your wife. There is no point by tearing the palace apart when you are truly in love with her. On account of this, you can have her as your wife. That is your wish, isn't it? Um, um, uh, what about your cabinet? My cabinet? Don't worry about them. I am still king of this kingdom. I can take care of my cabinet. I can handle them. Father, my son. My father has finally approved. And this is the beginning of our lives together. sent me an invitation for his Ofala festival, which takes place tomorrow. I want you to represent me there. Anything for you, Father. We will conclude the marriage rights with Alamma immediately after your return, so that she can move into the palace. You will live long, my king. Shall be well with you, my son. Idiro bi mumanesie ni mono dum ni le ni mono dum ni le o ni mono dum ni le. We are greeting you. Hey, hey, hey! Hold that your mischievous greeting. Ne, we came to say we are so sorry for our unruly behavior the other time, and to apologize for our unfair attitude towards our friend Olanma. We are really sorry. Please, <laughs> Mama. <laughs> we are very sorry. Please, Mama, give us another chance. And we promise nothing will ever come between your daughter and us again. Please, Mama. Hmm. Hmm. 
if you are truly sorry. We are. Is you? Okay. Let me go inside and call your friend. By this time of the morning. Didn't you sleep last night? Or did he <coughs> overnight? <coughs> you girls, leave all life alone. Can't she live her life the way she wants? <sighs> Maka oh, is nice. right. Hey, hey. Oh, you dear friend. Hola. Oh, I'm so sorry. In fact, I came to apologize for all the silly things I did to you. You know you're my friend. I like you. And I really missed you. Hola. <laughs> we missed you. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> How are you? My sister. They are bad people. Some enemies who don't like our friendship have been telling me, oh, I must smash the prince away from you. And I told them, shh, me, shionuki. Is that your problem? Yes. I mean, what is wrong if my best friend decides to eat from where I am eating, or better still, from where I have eaten already? Is that not freshy? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, Nuria, I know that I'm actually supposed to be the one explaining to you how I came across the prince. I mean, it's not as if I deliberately wanted to take his mind away from you or something. I mean, you know how these things work, Ima. <laughs> you go, it's just a natural attraction and a chemistry. My sister, there's no problem, I understand. <laughs> anyway, it is good to have my friends back. <laughs> now we are all drinking together again. Ah, so, tell me, what has been happening to each and every one of you? Would you? Who is the latest guy of God? I mean, who is, you know, chasing you at the moment? Hey, nobody else. I don't like the village boys. Uju! Hey! <laughs> so, you don't like village boys anymore? No. Now, the city boys. See? Your level has changed. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. What about you? Nothing for now. Mm. Would you want to come with us? Does she need to? Can't you just let her be? Maybe she could rest or something. Hola. You missed you so much. Come with us. Um, I missed you. I missed you too. Okay, I think Nuria is right. I'll go with you next. Okay. I'll come. Hola. <laughs> um, Mama. I uh, will be going with my friends. Oh, yeah. I'll come back very soon. What of the mineral? Let's go. <laughs> Carry your drinks. Don't worry, I'll bring the bottle back. Are okay. you sure? Okay. Mm. No, thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Hola. Mama Nabia. Let's go together. So, I have this tea now. What have you done? Hola. I miss you. That is a very good spot. Mm. Mm. Anyway, it's too short. We've been working for a while. Mm. Mm. I'm tired. Very good. You girls. Oh. I think I'll have to go back home from here. I need to rest. Go back home. Go back home. You're tired. Eh? Ola, come with me. Why are you calling Ola? If you want to go, go. Does Ola have to go with you? If you're tired, go home. Eh? Leave her alone. Cool. And don't worry, I'll come over to your house, okay? Let me just stay with them for a while. Mm -hmm. I'll meet you up at home. And besides, <laughs> we've missed Ola so much. Mm. Ola. Mm. 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 
<laughs> oh, Lassie, what has been happening? My eh? sister. Mm. Not too much. It's just. So get that now! Yeah, you shut up! Look, if you don't tell them to leave me now, you'll see what the prince will do to you. Not even the prince can save you here today. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Good for you. You. You! You snatched my darling husband from me. My darling husband that I worked so hard to get and turned me moi, into a laughing stock in this town. I can't marry him. Yes. But neither will you. 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 Hmm? Get this stupid dirty one behind this outcast out of my sight. So you planned this? No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. There's no need crying why the head is already off. If you had agreed to have me, you wouldn't be winding up like this. Take her away! So, this is very strange indeed. This lady cannot be used for this. Kete, hmm. what are you saying? She is covered with royal blessings. We cannot bury a queen with another queen. Igwe what? If I have not known you, I will have doubted your competence. <laughs> She's a virgin. Offer to us by the ego of Alpha himself. Hmm? Dibia, how do we get a replacement for her since our search for a virgin in this community we are in vain? I would like to warn that consequences may be grievous. It may be very, very disastrous. Her soul, her soul might come after you. Dibia, not try to frighten us. Do as tradition requires. Take her to Amia tree in the bush and cut off her leg. I wash my hands and feet before you of any consequences that may arise out of this. You've just said my mind now. So get started. <laughs> I have come to warn both of you that on no account should the prince be told what happened to Olama, except that she suddenly got missing and that will be a little for her. Hey! The gods will judge all of you! My god will judge you! I judge you! I judge you! The ancestors will punish you! Punish you! Punish you for your wickedness! My brother's face will be for you a million times! Over and over and over! Silence this woman. She has insulted the prince. <laughs> Mama, Mama, please, you can't do this to me. Somebody help me! Mama, open your eyes now, Mama! 
I can't believe this. I mean, I don't understand this. Olama's mother is dead, and Olama has disappeared into thin air. In a kingdom where my father is king, the prince's wife to be disappears, and his future mother in law dies mysteriously, and my father knows nothing. If truly you know nothing, Father, then that means you've lost total grip of your kingdom. Quiet! You can't say such things. My fiancé is missing. And I will turn the pathways, the bushes, the roads of our father upside down, inside out, until I find her or find evidence of her. Son. Son. Since we insist on knowing, I feel it's my obligation as your father to tell you. Although I know that this knowledge will bring nothing to you but pain and sorrow. I'm listening. The queen of Amaigiri died a few days ago. And their men went in search of a virgin. Olama fell victim. She was kidnapped and I believe killed to bury their queen. Hey. Hey. God have mercy. God have mercy. My friends. Taken on her wares. Or rather put it, that Mbelede Keiji Amadike. It has happened. I can't reverse it. Then we go to war. Go to war? I can't go to war for just any and everything that happens. It's unfortunate that all Lama was involved in this case. You can't go to war. Then if you wouldn't go to war, watch me go single-handedly. Watch me. Yeah, My queen. My queen. Even in death, you are the salt of my life. Hear me, my queen. Hear me. This place is our sanctuary, Olama. Even if I die, even if I die in the course of avenging your death, Olama, then, then my death would not be in vain. Don't 
don't I know you? You wicked girl of our family. What have you come to do in my place of happiness and sorrow? Speak! I've been following you, my prince. And though I keep the company of the wicked girls, I am not in myself wicked. And though I know no one has told you the truth about Lama, the fire still burns in me to tell it to you. And that is why I followed you here, my friends. My queen, what do you know about my beloved? Speak, I say. She was betrayed by those who love you. She was caught and taken to her death in Amaegidi by the palace. I can say, I have said, but I can't say more, for I fear for my own life too. Gods have given rest to her soul and that of your mother. You watch over us for now until we die and join them when we grow old. I see my mother always in my dream and I ask her to take vengeance on her killers. And my beloved, do you also see her in your dream? Never. She must have gone far in the land of the spirits. Don't worry. You see her one day. Our loved dead ones always appear in our dreams to tell us to take heart. Let's go. 
so I knew that if I came and waited, that I would see you. information that the prince is returning. Oh. May the gods be thanked for this information. I eagerly await his return home and possibly his return to his senses. Let him in. Let him in. I have come to unsay what I said the other day. Good. I'm very glad that you are finally coming back to your senses. But I'll do so on one condition. That you banish Agaba. Uriah, my ex-wife, and all her friends who had a hand in Olama's kidnap from this village forever. And that you recognize all the Wapatas in this village as free and complete citizens of this kingdom. Only then will I forgive what you've done to me. Wait! It's Tanaga 
never run so so in such a hurry. Hey, Wo, that's him. I've never seen him in such a hurry. Make way. He has good tidings for me. He's hurrying to me. There's fire on the mountain! There's fire on the mountain! Fire? What fire? What mountain? Someone has died in the palace. Not someone. All of us have died. Agaba, stop speaking in idioms and tell the tale. The king has banished us from this kingdom. <laughs> he banished all of us except Amaka. <laughs> and the banishment takes place immediately. You invited all of us here to argue and talk endlessly on this Mwapata issue. It is interesting that Igwe communes with his ancestors and with them come to a decision that the system of Osu and Mwapata should be abolished in our land. And he brings this to his cabinet for discussion. And we hear, Mwapata is Mwapata. Does he show a sound, wise judgment? Consider it. These are all citizens of Afanasa. Should they not be given equal rights and opportunities like the rest? Think of it. Igwe is right too, because times have changed. After all, what is Mwapata? Don't we all breathe, cry, feel pain, love and hate like the Mwapatas? Look, time is come when Mwapata should be abolished in this our kingdom of half and half. You say the times have changed. <clears throat> the sun no longer rises in the east and sets in the west, is it? There's no longer day or night. Look. There is no reason for my pattern to become a freeborn. No, never. Fear. Our ancestors have not agreed. No. I don't believe in this my pattern issue. Are they not human beings as we are? Do they not eat the same food we eat or drink the same water we drink? This Mwapata issue should be abolished. Let them be free from the ancestral body. This is my humble opinion. Um, looking at it now from a different perspective, Mwapata is an unfair tradition. Eh? Mm -hmm. Igwe, let that tradition die today under your reign so that history will remember you. Yes. What are you saying? Yes. Eh? I think we have had a long enough discussion on this issue. Yes. Mm. I am happy and satisfied that the majority have now been swayed to the decision that the Usu Mwapata caste system is an unfair system and should be abolished. Get up. Get up. Go and call all the so-called Mwapata. I have news for you. 
to make a proclamation. Go and call them. To right the wrongs of our ancestors, I have come today to start the process of reconciliation. Reconciliation? Yes. History is being made today. There's a new sun rising in your lives today. The sun is rising in your generation. A journey that started many years ago with a virgin is ending today with another virgin. I am sorry I didn't start this process when I discovered that my son was in love with Allah. But now I can see more clearly. Yes, I can see more clearly now. You will be proclaimed freeborn, all of you. In my palace, eight market weeks from today, there and then, you shall be free, free to farm, free to love and be loved, free to have festivities and share with all the members of the kingdom, free to work in the farms. You shall indeed be free. Free in all ways. May your days be prolonged. Thank hey, you. thank you. Thank you. Get up. Get up. It shall be well with you. Oh, God bless you. Remember your father, the king, sending people to kill my mother. I don't want to marry you and turn around to hate you when the memories of my killed mother start flooding back. I have to go. I promised you. I promised that I will get my father to abolish the war pattern discrimination in our kingdom. What has happened? There is peace now. What about the other lands? What about the other kingdoms who still have... Who still have the Mwakbata's belief? Can you abolish that too? I love you. I love you too. Oh, I, I really do love you. But you see, sometimes... Love is not enough. I have to go. I wish you find love. I wish you find luck after me. 
I want to ask you for one thing. My only brother, Abinzi, is still in this village. Promise me that you will take care of him for me as your own blood. Promise me. Oh, please, do not make this any difficult for me. I have decided. told her my heart still lies unoccupied. The love I thought I had was still born. My culture killed it. Son? Youth is carefree. Youth explores. You are young. And understandably, you wish to explore some more. But remember the old saying, go east, go west, home is the best. And son, this is home, your roots, your foundation. So explore what you will, you should eventually return home. So the question is, when, son, will you finally be home? I don't know when I'll come back. But I'll come back home someday to change some of these laws and culture that have dehumanized our people and made us uncivilized in the eyes of the whole world. Culture. Culture is good, yes. But not all cultures. Not all of them. Here and they are nowhere to be found, and now we are facing the forest. 
What do we do? Go back. We have no choice. We must find them. What could you have been doing here in the first place if not for your stupid sister's idea to run away? Will you stop pointing at me? And what are they running away from? What? Come on, can we stop all these questions and move on if we have to? Let's go. 